it's time to put your portfolio together. So get into Excel, set up your portfolio worksheet, which means you have to list every type of a security you're going to choose. So you should have stocks, you're going to do an electronic tr um, funds transfer, we're going to do a mutual fund, an index fund, bonds, options, any money market. Of course, you also have to go ahead and total your portfolio and keep track of the S&P 500. So all this should be on your Excel worksheet. So first, you have to pick a stock. My favorite website is the Yahoo website. So I go here on finance.yahoo.com to look up different stocks. Remember, you do have to have one dividend paying stock at least. So in order to get your quote, if you don't know the stock symbol, that's fine. All you have to do is enter the name of the company you want to buy. Oops, sorry. You have to spell it right. So of course, I'm typing wrong here. If you enter that company name, it'll say, okay, who am I looking for? Well, I guess I didn't spell it right because it's giving me all these other different McDonald's. Okay, lots of different McDonald's. And I don't want all these different McDonald's. I just want McDonald's Corp. So this is the restaurant chain, and I picked that since I didn't know the symbol. Or if you know the symbol, like... That's the symbol for Apple, and I want to buy Apple. You can put just a symbol in, and it'll go directly there. So you're going to pick out some stocks on your investment portfolio to buy. And you're going to list the stock name for me and the symbol. And one of them has to be a dividend paying stock. Remember that one of them has to be a dividend paying stock. You can have as many stocks as you want to trade uh, as you want to as you want to trade. Let's see what more and more stock do I want. Um, let's see. I did type the symbol for buys are wrong, it's PFE, and I need one more stock, let's see, I think, um, I'll do William Sonoma. So you pick out three stocks, it could be something different than mine. So I have my stocks. Then you need to pick out at least one ETF, which is a little different than mutual funds. We'll be studying them later, but I do want you to find at least one ETF. If you go into Yahoo Finance and into the ETF page, you can look at the top performers, right, to help you pick one out. Or if you have a favorite, um, ETF that you like, you can go ahead and pick that, right? So here is all the different ETFs out there, and what you need is to go ahead and pick one. Oh, I think I have to do like INP. So here, you can look at this. And what I just like to do, so it makes it easier for me so I don't have to type it, is I just, oops, that didn't work. I just choose the name and copy and paste it into my Excel document. But the most important thing is to have that symbol. Right, I'll do the India one, I think. I might go ahead and also do Ultra shares. So 
Here's the other one I'm going to choose. And you can have one. You have to have at least one ETF. You can have two if you like. Right? So again, I've just copied and pasted into my Excel document. And notice I've listed my symbol each time. Then you need to have at least one mutual fund. You can use the um, many different websites to look up mutual funds. You can go to Morningstar. Morningstar is a great place to look at mutual funds. You can look at the top performers here in the Mutual Fund Center. And they'll give you the overall top performers. And of course, gold's doing very well. When you have a very volatile stock market, gold tends to do very well. So this is a new fund. I can tell because it's not much data on here. And I'm going to choose this gold fund. All right, again, you need to put the name of the fund. If you copy and paste it, and it's very easy because then you're giving me all the information. What I want is the fund family, the name, and also the symbol. You need to have the symbol for that fund. And then I'll choose one more fund. And let's see. I think I'm going to do a precious metal fund. And realize sometimes these funds look like they've done very, very well, mainly because they haven't been around very long. But precious metals, of course, are doing well because gold's doing well. So you also choose another fund. And again, I want the symbol for that fund. Index funds are a little harder to find. Again, I go to the Mutual Fund Center for that. And I usually look up funds by family because every family has an index fund. There's no one certain place you can go to find an index fund. But if you go to different family names and you can pick out a family that you like, and I have a sister that works at Fidelity, so I tend to look at her funds. I also, one of my favorite ones are the Vanguard um, index funds because Vanguard tends to do a very good job. So let me look at, I already have a Fidelity fund, so let me look at Fidelity. And if it says the index name in the fund name, it's an index fund. So this is one of Fidelity index funds. And I think this is the one I'm going to buy. So you have to at least one index fund. Again, I'm just going to copy and paste the name into my portfolio. And I'm going to make it a little smaller. And you now have pretty much all your stock type funds or funds that you can look up through Excel listed here.